Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we will be discussing about how to relocate a database, a rack database from one Oracle home to another Oracle home. The reason for this uh, change request is that it was requested by one of our uh, clients and they wanted to um, relocate uh, their uh, staging database from one Oracle home uh, to another Oracle home because they had the staging and development database on the same Oracle home. So they wanted to uh, maintain the different patch set level. So they don't want, they wanted to uh, relocate the database, the staging database from uh, the uh, existing Oracle home to new Oracle home. So the first step uh, here to be ha having will be that uh, we need to have a uh, new Oracle RDBM software installed. So let's see the current setup. I am on uh, Vaishya 11G R19. So I'll log into um, Oracle user or ENV. Um, I have, uh, let's see the database name, grep smon. Um, my database is down so what I can do is that cat slash etc slash or a tab which indicates that I have a database called test So uh, we have an already an Oracle home is there. So our first task will be that create install new Oracle home, and then we should be relocating this database to uh, the newly or Oracle uh, created or newly installed Oracle home. So let's have the Oracle software installed. Uh, the Oracle software is located on slash Vaishith slash database folder. Okay. From there I can install. I can start the run installer. Now we have the um, installer screen came. We will skip the first initial things like email and uh, the um, warning to or uh, to receive the security as, uh, updates. We don't require this one. So just go ahead with the next. It's asking do you want to remain uninformed? Yes. Here install the database software only. Yes. Next. It is still asking that do you wanted to have the um, rack installation or you wanted to have the um, uh, uh, the single instance installation? We here wanted the rack installation, so we will be proceeding with the, the this option. And we need to uh, check the SSH connectivity. We'll test since that is an existing rack environment. This sh uh, test should be uh, going successfully. Next. We can select the available language if any language other than English is required. It's asking the what, what type of installation you want, enterprise edition or the standard edition. We want the enterprise edition. So it's asking where is the Oracle base? Oracle base in our installation on this lab environment is Vaishith slash 11.2.0. And software location will be slash Vaishith slash db home underscore two. Before that, before this to be successful, we should be creating this directories. So um, I have already created this directory, so we should be able to proceed. Okay, so we can proceed with the next the next option.
it is asking the it is uh, giving a warning that our oracle home is outside the oracle base do you want to uh, want to continue yes and the oracle administrator group and the uh, os group upper group will keep both as uh, dba and we will proceed with the next now oracle is doing the uh, performance i mean it is uh, doing the prerequisite steps uh, that's absolutely fine uh, since we have already an installation that this this should not be creating a problem this time So all the uh, pre are uh, successful, now we are good to start up the installation. Hope this much is clear. Once installation is completed, we will see how to relocate the database to the new Oracle home. Now we can run the root.search from both nodes of the cluster. Search is completed on the first node. Now we'll log into the second node and we'll complete the root search on the second node as well. So here the Oracle uh, software installation is completed. Now the next step will be migrating the database uh, to the new Oracle home. We will see the configuration of the existing database SRV CTL config database. Need to first set up the environment variables. Test rack one. Okay, now we can give a service detail config database. You can see there is only one database. Now hyphen D test rack. Okay. We can see that the Oracle home is Wireshift DB home one. Okay, now the step to modify the the, the database configuration will be a service CTL modify database hyphen H. So here we can see that one. The command to be executed is a service CTL modify database hyphen D the database unique name hyphen n the db name if the db unique name and the db name is different hyphen o is the oracle home so it will be srv ctl modify database hyphen d test rack hyphen o slash vaishith slash db home 
अंडरस्कोर टू ओके नाउ एस आर वी सी टेन कॉन्फ़िग डेटाबेस हाइफ़न टी टेस्ट रैक वी कैन सी दैट वन द डेटाबेस सिस्टम now as a last step we should try to we should be able to start up the database from this home that is by SRV CTL start database hyphen D test rack before that we have to check one more thing we have to check whether any config instance level configurations are to be changed so we can just check SRV CTL config instance hyphen i test rack 1 hyphen d test rack okay SRV serial config instance is not showing any any output the uh, so it means that there is no instance level configurations we have to change so that's clear that we uh, we are good to start up the database let's see let's try to start up the database start uh, we'll check the status of the database status database hyphen d test rsc it says that test rack one as well as test rack two is not running we'll confirm by ps hyphen af grep s mode okay now we should be able to start up the database start database hyphen d test rs The database is started now. We'll check the status uh, of the database. We can see that both instance of uh, test rack, uh, both instance that is test rack one as well as test rack two is started. We can confirm whether that is starting from the new Oracle home by checking the smon uh, from the uh, Unix prompt. Okay, and uh, we can see that that the instance is started. Another check of what we can do is that just cat the oratab file that is cat slash etc slash oratab. Now here you can see that one. The agent uh, once you upgraded, uh, once you mo modified by using the uh, service settle, you can see that the database home is being changed to the new Oracle home that is vice slash db underscore home dash two. Okay, now we we have to make a small modification on the red app to uh, uh, to connect to the database using the SQL plus. We'll change the home of the instance to the new Oracle home. Now, if you are giving SQL plus slash assist DBA. Uh, we need to reset the environment variables just give dot space or env test track to now you can see that the oracle home is moved to the second instance and then sql plus slash as sysdba you can see that it is being connected if you are opening the alert log file, we can also see that one. Um, in the uh, uh, I just started the uh, open the alert log file of the one of the instance. We can see that one. Uh, it is using the parameter file on the new Oracle home. From all these things, we can uh, um, clearly understood that the um, Oracle home of the uh, old instance is changed to new Oracle home. Hope this session is clear for you guys. Thank you.